Hey, what's up guys? This is Matt here, and I know it's been a little while since I made a video. Um, I've kind of been getting out of collecting the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, all that retro games. Um, I've just been selling a lot of stuff. You can see I still do have quite a bit of stuff. If you look behind me, there's my collection right there. Um, it's shrunk a little bit, but I probably sold about, I probably sold about 20% of it, and I have 80% left. I may eventually be selling that stuff in the next uh, couple of years. Um, it's just, it's a slow process, guys. I mean, I've loved this stuff for so long, so it's really hard to let go of it. It's hard to prioritize what I want to sell. But I've actually gotten into another hobby lately, and that is actually collecting Garbage Pail Kids. Um, I think I might have mentioned it earlier in another video, but I've really gotten into a little bit more hardcore now. Garbage Pail Kids are something that I used to collect when I was little. I guess I was probably like six years old when I first started collecting them. And uh, I I went through the basement, I went through my collection that of stuff that I did have. I probably had about 200 or so Garbage Pail Kid cards. Um, and I show you what I have right now, which is actually, overall, I probably have about the same amount of cards that I had when I was growing up, except for now I have a much larger variety. And if you wait till the end of this video, I'll show you the good stuff. That is the original series one cards. But for now, I want to show you, I'm going to explain to you what I did, and then I'm going to explain to you a little bit what I have now. So, um, first what I do is I took all my Garbage Pail Kids that I had, cards that I have from when I was a little kid. I got rid of the doubles. I like I made two piles, one of all the um, singles, so I had just one copy of each one. And I took the doubles, and I bought a few lots on eBay, like maybe two or three lots. You know, like 200 cards here, 200 cards there. And then I went through all the doubles, and I, uh, I organized it. And what I came up with was a nice system here, and it's kind of hard to see, but you'll notice here that this here says Series 3, cards 84 to 154. Here's Series 4, Series 5, Series 6. Or it keeps going all up to Series 15. So the original Series Garbage Pail Kids, I believe it was from like 1985 to 1988. It lasted three years. They came out with a new series like every few months, and they ended up with 15 series. And the reason that my Series 1 cards are separate is because the series one cards they really have some value to them um, these other ones really don't have too much value to them some of them are a little bit more valuable than others but some of them they go for like 10 cents 15 cents each and then other ones they can go up for you know five ten dollars for these um for these uh series two to fifteen now it's very rare for them to get that much for the series two to fifteen though there is a few like in series 15 they're harder to get i can show you right now um, series 15, they started, they didn't really make as many Garbage Pail Kids cards because uh, people just stopped collecting them. In fact, I found out that they actually made a Series 16 cards um, in like 1988, but um, they never actually printed them. They just have, uh, they just kind of designed them, but they never actually uh, brought them out to the public. So if you can get, there's like original, um, like a big unprinted plate of it that you can buy some on eBay or something. It's really expensive, but anyway. Just talk about series 15 and you notice something that's a little bit different about series 15 is that um a lot of the series 15 cards they don't have that cut like that die cut so that you can peel the sticker off you'll see it just as like a regular card and i believe that this is the first time they started doing that maybe just to save money but yeah some of these series 15 cards are a lot more valuable i think the most valuable series 15 cards are the last few uh, for some reason this guy right here he kind of looks like freddy krueger um, he can go for like 5, 10, 15 bucks sometimes. Then the last two, Add a Bomb and uh, Blasted Betty. These are a little bit more valuable too because they look like one of the most famous Garbage Pail Kids. And that's Adam Bomb and Blasted Billy, number 8A and 8B of the original series, which I'll show you in a second. But I just wanted to show you a little bit about, um, more about these Series 15 cards because these are kind of cool. Another series that's a little bit more valuable, the original series is uh series two because at series two they had garbage Pail kids hadn't really taken off yet they were um getting more and more popular but series two cards um at that point they just didn't make that many so these do have a little bit more value to them and i think that this is actually when i started uh collecting uh garbage Pail kids it was like series two a little bit but really series three is right when i started um going down to the to the uh, good humor man and buy my cards for 25 cents by the way back then 25 cents a pack is actually a pretty good deal i mean i know this was like the mid 80s but when you think about it i mean if that's like 50 or 75 cents a pack today after inflation that's still a pretty good deal 
you know, um, for a pack of cards. But yeah, so these are Series 2 cards. Um, they are some really good designs. And they still make Garbage Pail Kids cards, like even today. But I think that the original series cards are my favorite because of the nostalgia for one thing. And also because they just had the best designs back then because it was all like fresh new stuff, you know? Now a lot of the stuff has already been done and um, they have to repeat a lot of the old ones because the old ones are so popular. But I'm gonna show you now the original series one. So the original series one, I believe it came out in 85. So this is, I didn't actually have any of these um, before when I was younger. I had to buy all these more recently. And what I ended up doing was I traded a few video games to this guy up in Baltimore. Um, he had some original Series 1 cards he wanted to trade. He was really into Nintendo stuff. At the time I was really getting starting to get into Garbage Pail Kids stuff. So I went up and I met him and I traded him a few things of like Nintendo Game Boys and stuff. And then he traded me for that. He, get, he gave me some Series 1 cards. But I'm going to explain to you first the two most valuable... Um, series one's cards and this isn't actually one of them but it's this guy's brother this is evil eddie this is 1b but 1a is actually even more valuable this one does have a little bit of value to it you know 15 20 bucks but the um 1a that one starts around 50 bucks even for one that's in bad condition and then from there they're just they're not as valuable like this guy i mean you know five bucks they're usually like five bucks a piece um up chalk and you'll notice that they make two um, throughout all of the Garbage Pail Kids, Kids history, they always made two cards. Um, so there's like one Upchuck and then there's one Heave and Steven. And they're identical other than the fact that the names are different. Uh, I'm not sure why they did it like that. Maybe just to get more out there on the market to, or maybe just to get people to collect more so that they'd have to buy more cards. But that's just the way that they did it. So I don't actually have a complete set of the original series ones, but I do have a good variety of them. I have most of them. I'm probably missing like maybe 15 or so. Um, what are we up to here? We have 5A, 5B. Then we have, I think I just have this one. I just have one of these. This is 6B. And notice I have these in these really cool um, card saver cases. This is so that when I handle them, they're not gonna get all banged up and stuff because I don't want them to lose their value because right now they're in pretty good condition. You see the corners are nice and crisp and sharp. And that's the way that collectors like them. They don't like them beat up. They like them like they just came out of the the, um, the pack. And you notice too, like the borders too, you gotta look for the borders. Like this border is not that good. See how much extra space there is down here? Collectors like to see the cards perfectly in the middle so that the border is the same as you go around them. But this guy right here, Adam Bomb, this is actually like the most popular Garbage Bell Kid. Um, so it's also the most valuable Garbage Bell Kid. Because if you look at that guy right there, this is what... Um, Tops was using Tops is the company that made Garbage Pail Kids. They started using this on like all their packs up until like series three, series four, maybe even later than that. I can't remember. But this guy just kind of became the face of Garbage Pail Kids, Adam Bomb. And then he has a brother. I call him his brother. It's really just eight B. Blasted Billy. I have like two of those. Um, there's these guys. I mean, look at this Boobs and Bruce. Like you. They, they could get away with a lot of stuff in the 80s. You know, they're selling kids with drunk people, or they're selling cars with drunk people to kids. Like, you could, I don't know if you could still get away with that today. I think the parents would be a little uh, crazy if they could, but hey, I guess freedom of speech, you know? This guy was always one of my favorites, TV Stevie. It's like a guy who's like kind of turned into a TV. Um, I have a few of those, and like, there's the other one, uh, Geeky Gary. Then there's, uh, who's this guy? Itchy Richie, he's got like ticks all over him. Um, Furry Fran, not so much into that one. That's the sister. This one's kind of weird. You see, look, look how bad the border is on this one. So like I said, the value, when you have the border that are off like that, the value goes down, but it is pretty crisp. So it still has some value to it. Potty Scotty, Jason Basin, Aylin Al. Um, and then there's, you know, this one looks like a witch, 16 I'm up to. Each series had like 40 different cards per series, something like that. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but it was something around there. Wacky Jackie. This guy I've always liked, Brad, ba Bad Brad. I just think it's kind of creepy. Look at that guy. He's like shredding books. And I want to get the, um, the other one for this. This is 18B. I want to get 18A. This is another one of my favorites, Corroded Carl, and I only have one. I want to get the other one. It's just nasty. Look at that guy. He's like popping his zits all over the place. 
He's got like some acne cream spraying all over his feet. Filthy, filthy guy, but I just like that. I don't know why. I don't know why this stuff appealed to me when I was younger. It's just like, you know, you're used to collecting baseball cards and seeing football cards, stuff like that. Then all of a sudden you see these really weird cards. Like I've never seen anything like this before. I gotta have them. And that's why they appealed to me when I was younger. And that's why I'm kind of into collecting them now. It's just that nostalgia, you know, just going back in time and just reminiscing and remembering all, all the good times from, from when I was younger, uh, collecting these cards and collecting cards that I didn't even have when I was younger. It's, it makes them extra special to me. Look at this guy. I don't know if you'd be able to get away with this guy today. He's like a cross-dresser because this made it look like it was really bad back then, you know, but now it's just like whatever. Things uh, things have changed since the 80s. Um, here's some more weird ones. This guy I've always like Leaky, Leaky Lou and uh, Drippy Dan. He's drinking water. He's just like pouring out of every hole in his body. This, this little guy's smoking cigarettes. Uh, some more crazy stuff over here. This guy I like, Slobby Robbie, but this guy I really like, Fat Matt, because Matt, you know, you get it, get it on Matt too. There's also another Matt called Rat Matt in uh, Series 2 or Series 3, which I have. I didn't show you. It's in that uh, other box that I have there. Um, some more cards here. This one I really like. Boney Joni, I don't have the other one. I think there's one called Thin Lin, which is 29B. This is 29A. So hopefully eventually I'll get around to getting all these. Um, this one I just think is really cool. New Wave Dave and uh, Graffiti Petey. It's just a really cool design with that guy. Um, this one's okay. Chili Millie. Some more. This one I thought was kind of weird. I didn't really get this one, but... You know, I'm sure there's some people that like it. This one I love. And actually, this is probably the one that I have that's in the best shape that um, from Series 1 is 35A, Wrinkly Randy. And I was looking at the corners and everything. And if I had a guess, you know, people get these cards graded. This would probably be a PSA 9. I looked and I was trying to find an issue with it. And there was just like one teeny little issue with a magnifying glass. One of the corners has a teeny little ding. You have to use a magnifying glass to see it. Other than that, it was like perfect condition. So... Yeah, I think this thing would be a PSA 9 if I got it graded, which I'm considering. I might get a couple of these graded. I just don't know. I don't really, I'm not really a big fan of getting graded because you got to keep it in a slab. I like my cards, you know, nice and clean and raw. If I need to take them out of the case, I can. So that's why I haven't got anything graded yet. Cindy Looper playing Cindy Lauper from the 80s, I believe. Um, almost done here with the first series. There's a few more. And that's it for the first series. This is Mean Gene. So I just want to share that with you guys. Um, I might still be buying a few more Garbage Pill Kids. I might get into like the newer stuff too, eventually. But for now, I got a nice thick stack of the original series. Original series is just called OS. OS 1, and then my OS 2 to 15 right here in this big long box. Um, makes it real easy to just kind of grow through and pick up a few out and just look at them and you know just look at the cards and just enjoy them that's really all you can do you know that's why that's why i collect them i just kind of look at the cards and i just enjoy them just want to show you guys my garbage pile kids collection today hope you enjoyed this video and i'll try to make some more videos soon all right talk to you later